Hello everyone, Sintra here with Final Fantasy XIII. We are on the loading screen. Now normally I would start on the title screen, but I needed to check a few things because uh, my hard drive, or my Windows install hard drive anyway, crashed about a week ago, a little over. Uh, and I wanted to make sure I, for example, had my settings all correct and had my save data. And it looks like I do have my save data, so that's good. Um, so, without further ado, let's uh, let's see what happens here. Good. Glad to see data loaded. When Vanilla woke from crystal stasis, she sought to deny her focus, Cocoon's doom, by lying that she, like Fang, had lost her memory. But instead of preventing a catastrophe, she only spurred her friend into reckless action. Desperate to prevent Vanille from becoming Seath, Fang suggested they attack a Sanctum Falci to kickstart their memories, and the tragic incident at Uriati Gorge was the result. Separated from her friend after their escape, Vanille drifted aimlessly until she happened upon Sarah. Though Snow's fiancé thought the meeting was the first, Vanille knew exactly who Sarah was. She was a girl who had wandered into the Bodum Vistage, only to return to Lucy, a replacement for the Grand Pulsians who had seemingly abandoned their focus. Feeling crushed by guilt and cruel fate, Vanille would have given up there and then had it not been for Sarah's advice that things, if things seem too much to deal with, you should face them later. If you can just survive, there's always hope that you can overcome your problems. That hope is what has kept Vanille going until now. When she describes this touching interlude to Snow, the kind-hearted hero renews his promise to fulfill his beloved Sarah's wish. And Lightning, her anger now a distant memory, means to help him do it. Okay. Whew, those are always really fast. But glad to see my save data was hanging around. Uh, yeah, I had saved. I'd wandered back after the end of last episode to go save there. So, hopefully, I've got all of my recording settings good and all of that. Looks like it's a couple minutes into recording now, but some of that'll be random stuff I cut out at the start. Um, so, I don't know if you remember or not. Uh, it's been a little while for me since I should have been recording this several days ago, uh, but my computer was not functional for that at that time. Uh, but I am needing to make my way over to that tower area. Now, there's a fallacy that was circling it, and I also have been having a lot of difficulty with enemies as of late. So I felt that I need to spend some time here uh, getting CP. So let's fight some wildlife. Uh, I... Keep the enemy off balance. Let's fight some wildlife. Ooh, that drops a bunch of crap on us. Okay, let's, um... And so it ends. Let's maybe use a different team configuration, because that thing absolutely wrecked us. Where's it going to put us? Okay, just over here. That's fine. Uh, paradigms. Customize. Okay. Um, let's start off with... There's the... Also, uh, I fixed the problem that was making my icons not show up. It's this really weird thing that I experienced... Um, where I think I lost some random data in various spots. So I did a uh, check on the files and there was something missing and it uh, downloaded them and now I have my icons back. So that's good. Um, okay, let's see if we can fight this, but more successfully. You can see the issue though that I'm generally having. I do have this thing. Yeah, okay, it absorbs lightning and sweeps water. Yeah, okay, it suddenly... Suddenly starts hurting real bad. Uh... Okay. Just getting back in the swing of things a little bit here. Let's get rid of his weak to every single element. Or the elemental debuff thing. I want to get to the point, theoretically at least, where these guys are much less of an issue. Now, one of the things that I've complained about a little bit with this game uh, is that some of it feels very... Uh, difficult to parse in the sense of 
um, understanding what my specific, like, what's the best way to increase individual character power. Now, that's something that I could potentially look up from a third-party source, but, um, hmm, okay. No problem. It looks like there might be some encoding overload during some of the battles, so we'll see how things look. Um, hopefully that doesn't affect things too badly. I was just glancing over at OBS, which is what I record with, uh, and it said that the recording or the encoder was overloaded. Um, so I don't know what that translates into. But so how is that for uh, yeah, that's pretty good crystal gen points. So I think we need to kill stuff for a little while because I think that's how these games are made, unfortunately. This one is very difficult for some of that though because my goodness, this thing is nasty looking. Yeah, interesting. It I'm definitely getting a lot uh or getting some regular messages about the encoder being uploaded. So I will need to potentially adjust settings, depending upon how that affects the video footage. Let's get Saz going again. Let's get me healed up. I'm the most important party member, because if I die, the whole team goes down. But yeah, this game, I feel like it wants you to farm, but it also makes farming difficult by having... Uh, like, enemies aren't just random encounters that you run around long enough for. They're specific... Well, this one doesn't do anything now. They're specific uh, spawns, so. Do we have another role with the medic? Yeah, diversity. We should use that, so we don't need. We don't need synergist going on right now. So, yeah, 1900 crystal gen points is really strong. So anyway, yeah, uh, if, if video quality fluctuates pretty wildly here while I'm trying to get stuff figured out uh, and set, uh, please bear with me as I work on that. I've also started changing up the thumbnail style, so if anybody's here... And it's like, oh man, that new thumbnail style is way better. Or whatever. Or if you think it's worse, let me know. I'd be curious to know. Hmm. I'm definitely seeing a lot of those messages pop up. It's kind of what's on my mind at the moment, so. Uh, I'm going to see if I can wander back this way to the save point in order to encourage those enemies to respawn. Because, like I said, I need CP. Um... It seems to me, so the ways that you can make your character stronger is by buying abilities in the, the crystal gen abilities. Um, let's just go ahead and drop a save, but let's drop a new save. New save data, yes. Um, so there is... Uh, There's weird mist going across the screen. Uh, sorry. Get my tracks on thought here. So, it seems like the main two ways of increasing character power are uh, through the Crystarium. And, holy shnikes, Hope has a lot of CP. Uh, and buying stuff there. Uh, and then there's also... Let's see. 
um, abilities, like uh, our equipment, right? So getting new equipment uh, can also do a lot to raise relative power. So um, fighting enemies can help with both of those because it can help us level up our equipment. But I just feel like the systems are um, quite interesting. Uh, quite sporadic or uh, a little hard to follow, if that makes sense. In that I'm not quite sure how to prioritize things when it comes to, say, uh, leveling up equipment or... Um, some of that stuff, so. Like, if I go into the Crystarium now, I could work on her Commando. Uh, I think I want to work on her Ravager. But the CP costs for these are quite high. I got, I've gotten that. But you can see that the CP costs um, to get to here is 6,000. That's another 4,000. Uh, but all that means that, like, these are giving me pretty strong bonuses, but they are also very expensive. Bonus chain... Boost chain bonus effect of your attacks when your HP is high. Um, yeah, like, a lot of these get to be fairly strong, but my goodness, look how much CP is needed. So I feel like I don't have a strong sense of character progression and how I'm supposed to be going about doing some of that. Like, finishing this off and getting sort of the maximum amount, as it were, from this just requires a staggering level of CP. And I feel like that's just generally true that all of these require a lot of CP. So I have a really hard time identifying like how much f grinding of enemies am I supposed to do? Um, how much, like, how do I get, get enough gil to level up my equipment properly? Because I think the best way of doing that is spending gil on stuff. I don't know. The, the whole thing is just kind of um, a bunch of unknowns to me in terms of some of that mechanical stuff. And I feel like the game has taught me about the systems, but not how to use them, if that makes sense. Like, when I've talked about, like, complexity as an example, um, and there's different aspects to complexity, uh, and I've talked some about some of that in with, uh, with friends and stuff, and on podcasts that'll come out someday. And anyway, the, the long story short of it is that... Um, there's understanding how a mechanic works and there's understanding how to actually use it. And those are two different types of understanding. Like, I can know how, uh, let's go to diversity. Like, I can know how the Crystarium system works. And I do. I, I understand at a mechanical level how to use it. But I don't understand the strategy of, of how to do things, right? Um, and so there's that fundamental difference between knowing how a thing works. Uh, let's use this one for a moment. And knowing how to, from a practical standpoint, uh, use it strategically or, or use it well. Uh, oh, good. We beat it. So, on the one hand, I can understand, okay, this is how uh, the, the CP systems work, but that doesn't necessarily mean I know what to prioritize there. And even worse is the equipment stuff, like, how do I make good use of that? And to some extent, like often learning how to do those well can be a fun part of the game but I feel like I need more of a sense of um, instruction if, if basically if the game is going to expect me to do those well and to do those effectively I need instruction on 
what I'm doing and like how I'm supposed to go about doing that. If that makes sense. Uh, to where... How do I understand... Should I go all in on a we one weapon? Should I try to go to multiple weapons? Like I need some of that that understanding and I just kind of have to try to figure that out trial and error and that means the game has to be built in a way that provides enough wiggle room for me to error right um, and I don't have a strong sense of how much it does that but I can definitely tell you I think that I need to get my character stronger and I and this will get them stronger. Like defeating this enemy will get me another almost two thousand Crystarium. And so like I can fight these guys for, you know, a while. Whatever it's going to end up working out to be. Wow, that hit real hard. But I don't necessarily understand things like how do defenses work? So, I don't know. It's just a, a whole process of needing to learn how to do these things effectively. How am I supposed to... Uh... The other thing, too, actually. So, like... I, I was talking about the, um, and yes, we're going to go back and forth for a little while here. It's, it's a, unfortunately just how it's going to be. I don't really have time to do that off camera. Um, especially this week where I'm kind of running behind on things because of all of the computer stuff I had to figure out earlier in the week. But anyway, um, like how do enemies respawn? How do I, uh, is this far enough? Nope. Okay, good to know. I'm just going to go back to the save point, drop another save, and then wander back and see if that respawns the enemies. Um, so anyway, there's just a lot of how do I work this game systems properly or sort of in the way that, that they want me to. Um, and so, like, I know that this upgrade system, for example, I can dismantle weapons. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Well, I experimented with it. It looks like it's a bad idea because I can sell them for a lot more guild to get upgrade materials than I get from dismantling them. Like, okay. So why do they have that system in there? Is it just to be a trap? Or is it is there some stuff that it's actually useful for? And my guess is there is some stuff that it is actually useful for. But how am I supposed to know, right? And, and so fundamentally, like, there's a certain amount of trial and error that's required in order to gain that knowledge or you have to look it up. And I feel like, to some extent, because one of the other issues that I have, if I just go to the inventory real quickly here and I look at components, okay, I see there's a putrid liquid whose origins are better left a mystery. That's a lot of flavor uh, about what strange fluid is or, you know, sin sinister fang. Uh, they tell me what the item is, but they don't tell me any of the mechanical properties of it. How much experience is it worth? Will it uh, increase the experience rate of my weapon or not? And so it's just like... I feel like this game, to some extent, shows a few design spots where if you really want to be able to get effective, uh, an effective team in this game, you either have to do an awful lot of farming or, and more likely, a combination of a lot of farming with looking stuff up. Because, just bluntly stated, I need information about how things work, and the game is not forthcoming on that. So... I'm going to give Saz a little bit more time to... Okay. So, like, and to some extent, you do need the player to go through the process of learning how to play the game, obviously. Like, that learning process can be quite fun as well. And, and I have no issue with that. It's just... The player needs to, to have time to do that, but they also know that, need to know that they need to do that or, or all those sorts of things. Um, 
I don't know. I don't know exactly where I'm trying to go with this. Um, except that I, I feel a little bit like I've been caught flat-footed and not really knowing what it is that I need to, to do in terms of what is sort of the road to making my character stronger. Um, and, you know, so that way I can successfully defeat these enemies uh, in a way that... Uh, let's get rid of Snow's weakness. Um, in a way that allows me to be able to kind of achieve an effective victory. Keep a cool head. So I don't know. That's how it's done. Is it? Is it? Hopefully, the encoder overloading isn't leading to a bunch of. Uh, jagged behavior and stuff. The, the only way to get rid of that is either tweaking settings some, and I might need to look into that. Um, oh yeah, there's another enemy further down. Or um, potentially switching which method I'm using, but that would require some other stuff, so. Uh, you can ignore random behind the scenes stuff unless that's what you're here for. You know what? I'm just trying to fill time while I walk up to this next enemy. Let's be honest. That's just how this goes. Because I don't edit these. Uh, beyond trimming some stuff at the beginning and ends and adding the little end screen. So. Mana Garmer. How much of a difference do, th do two things make? One of the things I am noticing is that this game stif doesn't seem to have um, an explicit defensive uh, mechanic. Like, there's healing and there is um, HP, but I don't see any sort of actual like raw defense. Thanks. Which is fine, you don't necessarily need raw defense, but it does bring up questions. Uh, let's just relentless assault it for a little bit. We need some healing going on. Like, I don't necessarily have any objections to not having, like, explicit armor. But it does mean fight. that I need to... Uh, I guess, like, you don't take less damage. You just have more HP to absorb damage into. That's how it's set up. So, I mean, that's a decent amount of Crystarium that I've built up on these guys. All right. Uh, I was working on her Ravager. So this gets her more strength. And then it's working towards magic. Yeah, so that'll make me deal more damage. Let's see, where are you at with things? Okay, so this... Ravager can get him an additional accessory slot as well. Um, that's probably a good idea to get. It's like, it definitely gets me some stuff but it gets me like two abilities and finishing off a third, so. Uh, his commando can get him in another accessory slot, so I kind of want to work on his commando. 
Like, I finish off Life Siphon and then get what? One strength and then almost to the next HP? Boost strength and magic when HP is high. Hmm. So, like, that seems really useful to get. But we're at the point in these where it's just... The amount of CP you need is really, really high. And I just don't have a sense of what the rate is supposed to be for some of these things. Um, let's go ahead and put some into her. I think I want to level up her saboteur. Oh, her commando. Yeah, yeah her commando is pretty high. Um... You know what? Let's work on her sentinel. Um, let's just continue around. Okay, Hope has a lot of spare cash to put into something. Um... Synergist. Yeah, let's work on his medic. I'm okay with that. That seems like a plan. There, that gets him another accessory slot. Okay. Yeah, I want to get him towards that. Okay. Yep. It's going to just take a while to get him there because that's expensive. Again, everything just requires lots of uh, SP. So, or, yeah, CP. Excuse me. <clears throat> Restore HP to target proportional to amount of damage target has taken. Okay, well, uh, I believe, just going through and making sure, yeah, okay, he's opened up another thing, um, I don't want resistance to stuff, I want, um, Cast bar water when HP is low. Okay. Um, maybe a rune bracelet? Yeah. Just give him some more defensiveness. Because that's where you get your defense, is through some of that stuff, or like some of these. Cast Protect Shell, Veil, and Vigilance the first time HP is low. This is pretty ridiculous. And then Data Log is just enemy intel. The, these guys. Uh, and then we got some random components. The enemies aren't straight up giving us money, I'm noticing, which is, you know, what it is. Hmm. You know what? Let's go ahead and press on a little bit further. Just so that way this episode isn't just grinding a few enemies. Let's see what, what's over here. Okay, you know what? Let's try fighting this guy. Step one. Uh, Libra. Okay, so this thing is... Does have a few status immunities. Hmm. Resistance to magic, but not normal. That's interesting. Thank you. Thanks. He seems to use poisony looking attacks. I don't know what that translates into, though. This is not an explicit like poison type or anything. Yeah. Holy shnikes. They just ate me for lunch. I have some really interesting monster designs, but...
Yeah, no, we're gonna fight this guy. Well, maybe. But it's like this sort of thing where I'm not quite sure how difficult these enemies are supposed to be for me. Um, uh, I need to leave right away, don't I? Okay, let's switch to Gear's Charge. So I need to keep myself healed up. Man, this so feels like it wants to be a real-time game. I know I've said that a number of times already, but it just, it really feels that way. But, oh my goodness, that just absolutely wrecks us. Like, if we're going to beat this thing, we're going to need to sit here on... I don't know. It just feels really weird. Like, so... Wow. Okay, I can't fight these guys. And so it ends. Like, these guys yield too much damage. You see, you see what I'm saying, though? It's like... Um, or... What I'm getting at... These are just random enemies, right? And these random enemies are, like, hard, as hard as boss fights. And I just don't have a sense for the balance of this game. Like, as I've been playing it, I've been feeling that it's very uh, uneven in its difficulty. Because some enemies are perfectly reasonable. Um, the the dog things that I'm fighting along here, the mana germers or whatever, are like what I would consider on the upper end of difficulty for most random mobs, as it were. But there's a bunch of enemies where it's like, why is this thing so powerful? Why does it deal so much damage? You know, those sorts of things. And it's just like, I don't have a strong sense for what the, the balance of is of this game. Uh, because it does feel very haphazard to me. It feels very um, like some enemies are uh at a, a reasonable level, some seem like a really good example was in the Mahabara uh, Subterra, where I had the enemies that were um, I, I don't remember. I could look them up. I th think they were Pulse Automata, Combat Engineers. Yeah, the Hoplites. These guys were pretty reasonable to fight. They weren't, like, complete pushovers, but they were pretty reasonable to fight. They weren't too terribly difficult. The boxed phalanx, on the other hand, was absolutely ridiculous and incredibly powerful. You'll notice that it has halved damage from both physical and magic sources, so you have to stagger it if you want to get full damage. So it's very tanky. Like, it's tankier than that HP value would indicate. And it also uh, would apply a lot of buffs to the... the uh, Hoplites that it was with, making them incredibly powerful. And so the box phalanx was an incredibly deadly enemy, whereas the hoplites were like medium, low medium, sort of. So it's like, why is there such a huge difference between these two when they're in the same area? Or, um, the circuitron, I think? No, wait. I don't even have it in my thing because every time I fought them, they just blew up and killed me but they're like ice bombs um and they just absolutely would wreck me and it's like what is the difficulty balancing of this game it doesn't make sense to me um i don't know what the intention is behind it i don't know if there's something that i'm missing with some of those enemies but it's like i feel like i'm in a spot where i don't know what the best thing for me to be doing is in the game but it feels like the thing that i have to do is either figure out how to dodge enemies or do a lot of grinding on random mobs like this, like this guy, where I can take one of these guys down. It's dangerous. I can't take it like lightly, but I can take it down. Um, and uh, get myself CP to try to make myself stronger. But that's the only way that I know uh, to to make myself stronger. Um, 
And so it's just kind of a process of what am I, like, how am I supposed to accomplish what I'm supposed to accomplish here? And, um, so I don't know. But I do get the Thanks. the strong impression that um, these uh, th this game has a, a very different balance than what I would anticipate or whatever, and I'm I'm really confused as to why. Uh, and it, so what it makes me wonder is, is this guy supposed to be less difficult than he is for me? Have I skipped enough fights that I'm badly under CP'd? How can that be when CP costs scale as quickly as they do, or, you know, as, as high as they have? Like, should I, at this point in the game, have some stuff at, like, max level in the CP area? And I just don't know. I just legitimately don't know the answer to that. So, um... I don't know. But I definitely uh, feel like I need to be careful uh, with some of this stuff. Because I don't have a sense of where the balance should be uh, or what they were expecting, where they're expecting me, me to be or any of that. So. I'm gonna need to switch over to diversity here. The other thing is I don't know if I'm like, I don't know. I It's just trying to figure out what's gonna be the best way of trying to take care of any of this stuff. And, uh, Switch over to this one for a bit. I want to heal snow. And myself, apparently. Yeah, this thing's almost done, though. Uh. All right, well, I think that's all the further I'm really getting right now. Like, I've got 3,800 CP. I don't necessarily want to spend, because I feel like what the game wants me to do right now is spend several episodes on end uh, fighting these guys. And that's, um, that doesn't sound like very interesting watching, so this is like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe this game is not conducive to my format, uh, which that certainly seems to be the case. So. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and have to call it here. I wish that uh, I had, like, better news for everyone in terms of what this episode could have been and that it could be making more progress, but hey, we made a certain type of progress, right? Got our characters a little bit more powerful. So anyway, until next time, everyone, take care and goodbye.